Okay guys, so um, let's take a preview of what we are going to create today. So this is, um, as you can see, this is a church flyer. So, um, okay, so as you can see, this is a church flyer. This is a church flyer just like this. So if you can take a look at this design, you can see that a, a lot of work was put in in this design. So you can see the um, this is the pastor and um, this is the name. The, um, you can see there's a shadow at the back of this uh, worship text. Then you can see the uh, the lines at the background and all that. So this is what we are going to look at in this um, video. So um, you have to pay attention and you have to pay attention and um, follow up this video to understand what I did here. Okay. So this is very interesting. I love this project because. Uh, it's going to open your eyes and show you a lot that you can do with um, just your smartphone using Pizella. So that's that. And um, let's get started in today's video. Okay. So do not forget. I almost forgot that. So do not forget to hit the subscribe button for me and turn off the notification for you. So that I get notified anytime I post videos like this. So let's dive into today's video. Okay, guys, so let's work on today's video. So, so let's start afresh now. So I'm going to um, create a new project. So this is a new project afresh. So the size you are going to um, be using for today's class, you are going to tap on this um, tap on this icon to set a new size. So when you tap on this icon, among this option, you are going to see image size. So tap on the image size. So for this size, you are going to be using um, the width is going to be the... Um, 1280 by the height is going to be 995 995 as the height okay so the height is going to be 995 okay just like this so this is the size you are going to be working with in today's video okay so we have been able to set the size so let's set um our guide okay most of you, you are having challenges with um, um uh, maintaining alignment in your design so this is how you set guide in pizza lab okay so uh, we have an icon here okay this is the icon so you are going to tap on that icon It's going to give you at first it's going to give you something like this okay so it's going to give you something like this to set so to set your guide you can tap on this angle okay you can tap on this icon this particular icon here okay this particular icon so the guide we need we need um so let me show you this so we need one line here we need another line at the bottom then we need one line here and um, another line here so uh, for this we need um let's call this um this is vertical line this is horizontal line okay all right so let's set that so tap on this icon so the number of horizontal guys we need just um two okay then the number of um the number of vertical guys we need just two all right so we need two two so we are going to tap on okay so it's going to give us um this guide all right so how do we shift this guy to shift this guide you have to just use your finger tap on it and shift this guy to this ending shift this guy to this ending so that there is a space between the edge of this um design between the edge of this uh, workspace and your design so you are going to maintain this guide okay so you are going to maintain this guide when you are working on your design all right so this is what we want to have as our guide all right so you can see how good it is now so this is what we are going to be maintaining all right so now let's set our background let's set the background for this design so to set the background for this design you can use any color of your choice but this is the color i'm going to be following so let's change the entire background to white first so to change the color of this background tap on this tap on this icon then tap on color okay tap on this icon tap on color change this color to white so we want to use white as the color of this background so we have um, a white color filling the entire background of this design okay all right so the next thing to do is to um like in the preview i showed you it's showing up on the screen now you can take a look at it so that is what we are working with okay so we have to create the um 
the um, red part of this area where the image of the pastor will be placed so to do that let's um, bring in a shape so to bring in a shape you tap on this plus icon tap on shapes so this is the shape so let's change the color of this shape to um, red a dark red so for this we are going to be using gradient okay gradient that is what you are going to be using so let me change the color of this first so that you can see all right so bring this shape at the upside here okay so we make make sure this shape is filling this um, side all right so let's change the uh, <clears throat> let's add a gradient to this shape to add a gradient to this shape select gradients here okay tap on gradient so for this you are going to be using uh, uh creating our own gradient by ourselves to do that tap on this plus icon tap on the plus icon so this is the type um, nature of gradient that we want so first let's change the color of this um first gradient which is the upper color here before we change the color of the downside so to change the color of the upper side tap on this um, color stop you select the color stop then tap on the um, color bucket here so you tap on this to select red so for this let's make yes select red before we select a brighter red something of this nature so tap on the ok button so we have something like this then for the down part let's select select this other color stop so when you tap on this select the color um, bucket so for this we are also going to um pick red also so pick red but for this red is going to be a darker red okay all right tap on the ok button so we have um, something like this so if you can see in the preview i showed you the brighter red is at the downside while the um darker red is at the upside so let's switch um this we are going to switch it just like this of this nature all right so let's tap on the ok button so we have something like this on our shape so tap on the good button to select it so now we have um <coughs> we have this this kind of shape in our design okay so the next thing we have to do now is to create in the preview i showed you you can see we also have another shape accompanying this other shape to create that shape you tap on the plus sign again tap on shapes so for this shape let's make it um this so let it fill the screen let me change the color of this shape so that just a um, default color so that you can see what we are doing so let's make this a smaller tiny shape like this of this nature okay make it like this all right so let's change the color of this so for this you are going to use gradient also so you are going to tap on gradient this is the gradient tap on gradient then tap on the ok button so for this you are also going to use a uh, red color but it's going to be a brighter red so let's change the color of this all right so tap on this change the color stop to this a brighter red just of this nature the brighter red of this okay something like this then tap on the uh, last color to obtain it to red also so you are going to be using red also so so just play with something like this so if you can see in the preview i showed you i created up to um three three color stop okay so for this let's um add another color stop at the middle here so to do that tap on this plus icon so if i to tap on that plus icon you can see what happened we created another color stop so we have one two and three okay all right so let's tap on this third color stop tap on the pen bucket to and uh, change the color of this to this all right so we have something like this tap on okay and you're going to have something of this nature okay by the side of the um color okay all right so we have uh we have been able to achieve something like this so let's take a look at it on full screen okay so we're having something like this you can see our guide is um guiding us in our design so let's go back to um to view your full screen you have to tap on this three dot tap on the three dot tap on full screen you are going to have something like this when you're done seeing the design you tap on this um area to go back okay so we have something like this so let's bring in um okay we are still working on the design okay on the background so the next thing to do is to write um the worship okay okay is to write the worship so let's write the worship so that we can use that to distort to uh, create a kind of disturbance as uh, at this background so let's tap on the text um add a text a text so let's change this text to let's say worship so let's call this um or let's use church as this so let's use church okay let's use church increase the size 
so for this let's change this to all capital letter okay let's use church all right so let's go to the font let's change the font okay of this change the font to a bolder font so for this we are going to use a bolder font of this nature okay of this nature so we are going to rotate this to rotate this you are going to make it vertical use this icon to rotate this to vertical just like this okay so we keep it somewhere like this so let's change the color of this to a brighter um red so to change the color of this just go over to the alphabet to tap on color change the color to red okay so we are going to have a red color just of this nature okay so we have something like this so um <clears throat> let's reduce the size the uh, opacity of this church um, text so go to the alphabet to look for opacity this is opacity reduce the opacity to around 24 so for this you have reduced this you have created that so copy it put it somewhere like this copy it again put it somewhere like this copy it again and put it somewhere like this they should not lap each other so we have something like this so now go to your layer panel to lock that down so, so that it doesn't you don't just you don't make mistake and move it so let's lock everything that we have created down okay all right so we have something like this so the next thing to do is to bring in the pastor's image and to do that tap on the plus icon here so tap on this plus icon tap on from gallery to bring in the pastor's image i'll provide you this file in the description so you can go there download it and make use of it okay so let's go this this stuff is in my download so let me go down to okay so this is the pastor's image we have been able to bring it in so increase the size of this image then place the pastor's image at the bottom here just somewhere of this place the pastor's image here so let's reduce the size of this again scale it down again so let's put it just at this position we need our guide place it down at this position all right so we have something like this so this is the pastor's image so let's enhance the quality of this pastor's image a little bit so select the image when you select the image go to this place <coughs> go to this icon tap on this icon then tap on the um, color filter so i can increase the contrast a little bit increase the brightness a little bit saturation uh, or no all right so i'm going to leave the saturation the way it is then i'll tap on the good button so this is the pastor's image so let's lock the pastor's image down so lock it down so that we don't make mistake and move anything here okay all right so the next thing we want to do now is to bring in the text the pastor's um, name so to do that we have to add a text add a new text over here change the color of the text to uh, white so i'm going to change the color of this text to white so let me zoom it out so that we'll see what we have been able to create the pastor's name is called um, apostle ken candy akachuku okay so let's edit this text okay this is just for um learning purpose okay i own no right to this name and um, the image okay so this is just for learning purpose so let's um all caps apostle apostle okay so let's do this this is the apostle so let's zoom it out so now you know why you will not know why we needed this guide okay so we don't want any of our text to cross over this line we just have to put it just um, by the side of this line so let's change the font of this text so for this font so let's scroll down i'll be using montserrat so let's scroll down to where that font is okay so this is the montserrat font so let's make use of the board okay as the apostle okay so the board as the apostle okay so let me um, scale down this apostle let me zoom it out again so that we can have a good look at this so this is the apostle so let's copy this text copy the text bring it down edit the text so for this text is going to be pastor's name um candy candy okay all caps so for this other text we are going to make this text bold so um go over to bold the style make it bold 
ok you can go over to font change the font so we have a montserrat extra bold so make it bold so for this we are going to increase the size of this um other text so we reduce the size of the apostle again reduce the size put it over here just like this so we are making we are making sure that the text doesn't cross this line that we have okay all right so let's copy the apostle text copy the apostate apostle text bring it down so for this we are going to this is we carry the pastor's surname akachuku akachuku okay so all caps put it at the bottom here all right so we have something of this nature so let's we have um so worship with us we tell uh, we have to um, add another text which we carry the width okay so let's um this is the width okay okay just follow what i'm doing and you will get everything here so change the color of the wheat to create a variation between the color so for the color of this wheat we have to make it um yellow so make this color yellow okay so we have something like this so let's change the color the font of this wheat to a script font okay anytime i talk, talk about a script font it means a a curve font okay a fancy font that is what i mean by script okay so let's look for a script font for this text so let's scroll down okay i think we can go with this so this will be the width okay with pastor this and that all right so let's use the position to since our finger can no longer work there and scale it down okay so we have something of this nature so let's see on full screen and see what we have been able to achieve all right with um apostle candy akachuku so right let's let us reduce the size of all this text so to do that we go to our layer panel this is our layer panel so we want to move this text without uh, merging them so to do that you tap on this icon then select all the text that you want to reduce the size then tap on the edit icon here we have an edit icon tap on this edit icon reduce the size this is size so we can use this to reduce the size but it's going to um, scatter them but is all right so we are going to arrange that again it's better than us merging them because later we may want to use this design for another client okay so let's zoom it out and arrange it by ourselves so let's tap on the akachuku let's tap on this to just arrange them to this line then the apostle and the wheat okay all right so let's use um the position to shift it again all right so we have something of this nature so the next thing for us to do is to work on the other side of the design which is this side okay is to work on this other side all right so we have to bring in the line the um, lines at the background of this area so to do that tap on the plus icon from gallery like i said i'll provide all these files in the description so you can go there there will be a download link file a download link there that you can use that to download these files okay all right so let me go to my download folder to look for a line um, um image that we can make use of so let me scroll down okay it seems a fun one okay so let's make use of um, this okay this is it all right so this is the shape okay so let's bring this all right so let's scale this up scale this up to full the entire screen okay all right so um there's the previous video i did which most of you watched i showed you how to erase the um the white area and leave only the line so let me show you that in this video again so to do that select the image this is the image go to this icon tap on this icon scroll down to erase color this is erase color we have different there are different there's different between eraser and erase color use the erase color so if you tap on this enable it and it will remove the whiter area you can use this tolerance to work on the edges of the lines okay you can use the smooth lens to work on the edges of the line so tap on the ok button go to your layer panel because this the uh, <coughs> this shape is overlapping this other shape so let's go to a layer panel this is layer panel then move it down okay move it down hold it 
can hold it hold it at the uh, the edge here yeah? hold it and move it down move it down to all this design okay move it down all right so we have something like this so let's reduce the opacity of this shape so go to um, opacity this is opacity reduce the opacity a little bit so that it doesn't disturb our text that we are going to write so reduce your party opacity to around 35 then tap on the good button so let's go to layer panel and lock it down again okay so it's time for us to work on this other text so to do that we are going to tap on to add a new text so tap on this add a new text this is a new text bring it over here so for this text is going to be um, worship so this text is going to be worship okay worship um, the first letter should be capital which is the w letter tap on okay so this is the worship text okay so let's zoom this out so that we can see what we are working on so this is the worship text so let's go to font to change the font of this text to um, i'm going to be using mod serrat font if you are using this app if you don't have the app i'll provide the link to download this app in the description of this video so guys do not forget to like this video and share it to your friends hit the subscribe button and um turn off the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i drop valuable videos like this so do not forget guys so for this font we are going to be using monster mont serrat black italic so this is the font okay if you are using this app you should have this font if you don't if you don't have the font you can go to uh, google chrome and download the font install it to your pc lab i have a video on how to install font to your pc lab on this channel so you can watch that video and it will guide you okay all right <clears throat> so this is the font we have so um this is the font we have so let's change the um, color of this text so to change the color of this text select the text select the alphabet icon here then go over to color so for this you are going to be using gradient for this so to do that select gradient okay tap on gradient so we are going to use the gradient that we used for um the color this shape okay so this is the gradient is going is still going to be there so all we have to do is to change the direction of, of the gradient to do that tap on the plus button tap on this plus button then we'll change the direction using our finger on the screen okay just something like this change the direction of this gradient just something of this nature tap on the okay so we have something like this it seems that is much okay so you just have to play with the direction of this gradient okay same this is darker all right so we have this as the text okay so um let's zoom this out so we we'll see all right so we have this as the text so let's make it a little smaller so that it doesn't op occupy the whole space okay so we have this as the text so how do we create the shadow behind this um, text pay attention because i'm going to show you okay there are a lot that you have to learn from this video if you have been paying attention okay so let's copy this text copy this text so for this other text you go to your layer panel lock it okay lock the first text the this other text so now use your layer panel this is a layer panel hold this position bring the um, second text which, which is this one bring the second text from the layer panel to the um, bring the second text at the layer panel from top to the bottom of um, the first text okay all right so this is the second text so let's change the color of this text to a gray color okay which this one we are not going to use a gradient we are going to use a color so change it to a gray color just of this nature something like this okay all right something like this so for this now tap on this plus button so we are going to use you reduce the opacity from here so tap on this plus button so we have this gray color so use this um <coughs> use this slider to control the opacity of this color so move this other slider a little bit so that the opacity of this color will be reduced so we have something of this nature it will now look as if the text is a little bit faint okay something like this so we'll tap the good button then we'll use the arrow the position icon okay this is the position icon to move it up okay move it up since our finger cannot do that for us so move this up under this um shape so we can move this up under this shape 
okay so we have something like this so it, it looks as if we have created a form of um, um a shadow at the bottom at the end at the at the bottom of this um, text okay so we have something like this so the next thing to do is to create um, the with us text so to do that let's copy let's just copy this text so let's go over and lock it to the background okay then unlock the worship text so let's do this so copy it since we do, so that we don't have to go and add another text and select font again so copy this change it um color of this text to um black change it to pure black just like this so at this this text let's call this text um, with us with us okay all we have to do is to um, reduce the boldness of this text so go to font so go to font scroll down at the recent we have we have used something of that nature before okay extra bold all right so we have something like this worship with us so this is going to be italic so let's go to style italic okay all right go to font so let's scroll down we have um, a monster art font of that nature so that's why i i said you um, should download this app because uh, you don't have to bother yourself going to download font again because there are a lot of font in this app okay so let's use um, extra board okay something like this worship with us all right so we have something like this worship with us so the next thing is to add this thursday so let's copy this copy this bring it down so worship with us this thursday so this is going to be all capital letter this thursday <coughs> so change it to all capital letter so change the um, color of this text to red change the color of this text to red Okay, scale it down. We are going to um, increase the spacing of this text. To do that, select the text, select alphabet icon, go down to scroll down to spacing. You are going to see uh, spacing here. You are going to see spacing. Okay, use this spacing. You are going to see spacing here. Tap on the spacing, increase the spacing. Okay, see what is happening to the text. You can see by yourself, see what is happening to this text. So put this here, worship with us this Thursday. Okay, worship with us this Thursday. All right, worship with us this Thursday. So let's reduce the size of this again and put it back here. So worship with us this Thursday. All right, so the next thing we'll do now is to um, add the date and um, the location so for the date let's copy the with us text copy this text bring it below here so we add the 27th september 27th please guys do not forget to like this video and share it with your friends okay subscribe to this channel so that you get notified anytime i post a new video do not forget it is very important for your own sake okay so let's add 27 september just like this okay all right so the next thing to add now is the um, location so let's copy this other text bring it down i'm going to be fast on this so let's copy this down so the location is going to be at um all capital letter grand square hotel behind behind com combatant avenue stick pot high court okay so this is going to be the location so let's scale this down scale it down then go to alignment okay scale it down so now go to the alphabet icon go to the alphabet icon tap on it scroll down to where you will see alignment this is align okay so for this you are going to be using uh, the center align use this as the center align so let's scale this down a little bit make it smaller 
okay put this under here so the text you can see is um, competing with the uh, other text so for this text we want to make it um, a thin font okay so go to font go to recent so for this we are going to be using the um, goddamn medium okay make it small like this okay at the bottom here all right so let's write the date so let's copy the with us text copy it go down here so for this text is going to be um 6 pm so guys um do not forget color combination is very important in on in your design okay so if you don't know how to combine colors your design is going to be very bad so i have a video on that um i'm going to link link it down in the description of this video so you can go there and um, watch that video after watching this video how to combine colors in your design so let's add this other text so this text is going to be um, word worship which is going to word worship and um, an intimacy intimacy with god okay intimacy all right so we have to have to add um this other text so this is going to be at the bottom here okay all right so you can see how sweet the design is now looking okay so let's shift this entire design up again okay so to do to do that without merging merging all this text so to do that go to your layer panel tap on the layer panel tap on this icon select all the text this text at the right hand side okay select the text okay then tap on this edit icon tap on the position icon so let's move this up again then move it to the right hand side so that it leaves the edges here okay guys so we have something like this so we have to add the logo of the church so to do that in this video i used a winner's logo which i have no right on but um it's just for education purpose so to do that we have to add the logo so add a shape change the shape to a circle so this is a circle let's reduce this let's zoom this out so that we'll see where you're putting this circle so reduce the circle put it over the worship text okay put it over the worship text okay so let's change the color of this so that we can see the type of circle we are having reduce the size of this circle okay so the color of this circle is going to be white okay so you have a white circle so select the circle tap on this icon go to shadow okay go to shadow okay so we have shadow here the shadow so let's zoom it back so we are added the shadow here okay so we have um the this circle is going to house our logo so let's put it here okay so well um, let's go to uh, let me go to my um gallery to bring out a logo that we can place there so this is how you walk okay so if you have been able to stay to the point of this video i believe you have learned a lot a lot okay you have learned a lot okay so most of these things i've shown you in this video you can use it in other projects that you are working on okay you can use them in other projects that you are working on so um as you are watching you also try to learn something okay because uh, my aim is to show you what your um, my aim is to teach you for you to understand and not to rush the video Sorry that the video is length is um, long, but I just want to um, Explain everything in detail to you so that you understand why we do things that we do Okay, all right, so we will place the um we place the um, logo there and that is that so the next thing to do okay since this thing was being shifted 
Okay, so let's shift this a little. Alright, so we have something of this nature, okay? So what you can do, you can see that this is the main text of this event, okay? So let's add a line. Let's add the line here, just a an icon or a line here so that it demarcates this other part of the text from this part of the text and from this part of the text. So to do that, let's go to our sticker. If you are using this app, you go to tap on the plus button, tap on it, then tap on the sticker. So when you tap on sticker you tap on um stickers okay you tap on these stickers here tap on it tap on this sticker so here you are going to have um this that's why this app is i like it so much because you have um this pre um pre-installed stickers that you don't have to create this object again look at this object so you can just put this object here like this okay so this object this is very good okay so let's see you can place this here just like this okay so tap on the ok button when you're done so this is it so let's change the color of this um change it to a black color so tap on color change it to all black a black color just like this so let's zoom this out so that we'll see what we are working on okay change it to a black color so let's copy this okay copy it bring it back to the same position just as this you can use your position key to work on this all right so we have something like this okay so go to um, layer, your layer layer panel you can merge the two of them okay since we won't be needing them so you can merge the two of them you should know how to merge um, layers by now so you can merge the two of them put it um, so merge the two of them bring it to the center of these two um, stop all right so let's go and see what we have been able to create so let's look at it at full screen okay guys so you can see how beautiful it is now okay so um guys thank you for staying to the end of this video and i know by now you you have gained a lot from this video so hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i drop new videos like this so do not forget if you have been following up you can um, work on this you, if you practice you will understand so work on this using your phone your pixel lab then um, i will link down in the description my whatsapp link so you can send it to me on whatsapp and i will go through it and look at what you have been able to come up with so if this video has been helpful to you comment it down below and let me know what type of video you will want me to create next time so guys thank you for staying to the end of this video and i'm going to see you in my next video